the Supreme Unreal and Unity Game Dev Bundle 2. This is a humble bundle that is for Unreal and Unity, as the name suggests, and it's £27.50p. There's two things with this one that are a little bit uh, interesting. And the first one is that some of the Unity assets aren't available on Unreal. So these uh, magic abilities, so AOE magic abilities, they're not on Unreal, they're only on Unity. And this hit impacts is Unity as well. So you've got to be careful about uh, if you're buying them for these, make sure you're buying them for the right reasons. And then the second thing is a few of these have already been either on a humble bundle or on free for the month. So this Western Desert Town was free for the month and this abandoned cathedral was free for the month. Day 60 item bundle, which makes these roughly about 50p per asset at about 30 quid. There are a two item bundle. I think this is probably worth it on the two items. This is quite nice for 91p and then nine item bundle gets you some Niagara effects and some uh, environments as well. But again, the majority of these have been in a previous humble bundle before. And this one is a Unity only asset. So there are 23 Unity assets and then 37, I hope my maths is right, uh, Unreal assets. So that lowers the value to just about a pound an asset. And then you've got to discount the ones that you already have. Either way, the value is still there and we're going to take a look at them. Just so you know, I've purchased these so you don't have to. Poor blimey, this month I've spent like nearly £100 on assets. Wow. Right, the first one that we're going to take a look at is the Summoning Creatures. That is this Niagara effect. I quite like this Niagara effect. It looks interesting and different enough. There is a interesting issue with this uh, eagle where it's on, doesn't move. But summoning a T-Rex, most of these are going to be stylized effects for the Niagara. So we've also got these laser beams as well. Now there were, there was a huge, and I think it's still on Fanatical Bundle that I'll leave a link to as well that has loads of VFX in as well. That's got a hundred VFX for a very relatively cheap price. So here's the stylized one. It's lots of different laser beams as well. Then we've got stylized lightning. This is pretty cool. Or your thunder effects and your spells and stuff. And here we have stylized ground slashes as well. We're still just combining the shaders, but you can see it goes up over the hill, which is a really nice effect and falls up the ground. So these are pretty cool for you, sort of devastating final attacks. And there's lots of different slashes in here as well. See that you burst slash just here, and then we've got a cross slash one. So yeah, and stylized slashes, there's plenty in there for you to take a look at. Now, the one that I do like, which isn't really one that I would think that I like, is this magic pointers. So this is just sort of like a utility uh, asset. So we can see all these different uh, location pointers. You think of like Apex on your ping system, ping weapons and being able to drop loot and I, f I especially like these so like the heal effects are pretty standard but these aoe indicators i think are really nice and really cool as well let's go we'll take a look wander around the mediterranean village pack this isn't a very big pack but it is quite a, a nice dense pack we'll take a wander around and have a look around this one just check what it's uh, collisions like there's a bit of a funky collision uh, just here so we can see so you need to fix that but as a whole the style and the setup of the game seems uh fine these rocks seem to have funky collision that you'd probably want to fix very small world that you can just uh see running around in Check out the ancient uh, temple. 
this is a larger environment, but this is all pretty standard. Like there's nothing here, it's just dead area, whereas this is this is what we're interested in. We'll give it a first person go. Oh this sounds take a relaxing stroll through a temple garden. That's a that's a bit extreme for water. This isn't the ocean man. But it's still quite nice. The attenuation on that is pretty good actually. Yeah, just a nice temple asset. Does this have an inside? That is the question. It does. See, it's fully stocked on the inside as well. Very detailed, very nice. Does that have an... It doesn't have an inside on the huge uh, pagoda. So some insides on some things and not on other parts of said asset, which is fair enough. But no, overall, very nice. Apart from that, which is a bit crazy. I like that one a lot. Right, let's take a look at the Volcano Land with Terrain Scatter tool, which uses PCG. That should be fun. So we had to turn the PCG plugins on for this one, but it does seem to be worth it. So we added the Free for the Monk character to uh, this asset pack. Just sort of see how big the asset is and what it brings with it. We've got all these PCG lines. Now, this isn't standard uh, PCG graph stuff. This is like spline PCG. You can see it's setting a new uh, like lava path over here. So it gets a spine length and divides it by the mesh length. And then each distance along the spine, it's adding. Spline mesh component and creating dynamic material instances and setting the parameters for them. That's pretty complicated, but not massively over complicated either. Definitely a good learning tool for you, but let me know what you think. What are we rating the Unreal and Unity Supreme? Game Dev Bundle 2, I've butchered the title. These assets are a mix of stylized for some and realistic for others. They come with some interesting features. So they've got the PCG aspects, there's the Niagara aspects, and there's some frustrations. The frustration that someone got paid for having it on Epic and now is getting paid again for having it on Humble Bundle. That's a little bit greedy, but I completely understand why someone would do that. These slashes are all nice, all these Niagara effects are nice. It is a bit frustrating missing out on some of the ones that I feel would be useful for me to have. So there's a downside there. I think this is probably a solid seven, uh, seven or eight, maybe a 7.5. And let me know what you think. I'm always interested to see if you agree with my decisions. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.